Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday, Haley. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, Dan. Yeah, we've got our inaugural, very first. <laughs> yes. Oh, good grief. Why do I do that? What? I said inaugural. I don't oh. need to say very first. Yeah. This is our you very are first. You a repeater. I do. Yeah. I like to really make sure everybody understands what mm-hmm. I was trying to say. Yeah. No, this is our first full episode, Repcolite Home Improvement Show, on video. Yes. So you can catch it on air like you're listening right now. But if you want to see the magic as it's happening, you know, like pulling back the curtain and seeing the wizard right. behind and whatever Haley is. Which? No, I would never Probably. say that. Like a Noompa Loompa. Does that oh, that's better? The wrong, I'm mixing stories anyway. <laughs> doesn't matter. You'd see us, the wizard, and whatever I am <laughs> as we pull the show together. And that might be kind of fun. Who knows? Yeah. And you can find it by going to YouTube and searching for the Repcolite Home Improvement Show. And if you do go there, Click subscribe. Yes. Or whatever you're supposed to do. Subscribe. Yeah. And then, yeah, every time we come out with a new, brilliant, amazing video that will not waste minutes of your life, you'll be able to catch it. And you'll also be able to find these on Repcolite's Facebook page, on the Home Improvement Show Facebook page, on the Instagram page, all kinds of places. So, anyway, that's enough of that. It's our, it's a new thing. So we think it's kind of fun and we're having fun with it. Yes. Now this show, this episode, we've built it around the idea of saving money. That's our plan. We want to help people save money because I want to save money. Right. I think that we both really like that topic. We both like saving money. I don't know how many people, I mean, are really, do you have a lot of successful topics about blowing money? Hmm. This week on the show, we're going to talk about how to waste your spending. We did or talk your money. about low me. That is a way to waste money, isn't it? <laughs> Haley has low me. We talked about that a while back. It's a four hundred, five hundred dollar yeah. composter that sits on our counter. Yep, yeah. I do love it, but yeah, that you was know. a lot of money to just spend on. Right, loan. it wasn't a sale item. <laughs> no. So anyway, this show is going to be about saving money, and we're going to focus on um, DIY, like paint type projects, decorating type stuff. And at the end of the show, the last segment. We'll be talking about cheapo wallpaper. Yeah, Haley's wallpaper a... is something that we've talked about quite a bit this year because it's a really high impact project, but it's really expensive. And we know that. So we've put together a list of some less expensive wallpaper lines. Um, and some and, yeah. cheaper projects that you exactly. could jump into and still get good bang for your buck. Right. We'll also be talking about painting tools and showing you where and where not to try to save money. Exactly. Yeah, because that's a very interesting conversation and we each have made a list and we don't know what the other one thinks if this is a tool that you save money on or not. So we're going to have a throwdown. Yep, I am ready to debate that, Dan. Right, it might be a brawl. <laughs> you might want to watch that on video. It may need to be edited for content. Sure. And viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> so that's coming up. Right now though, let's talk about paint. And ways to save money on paint. And before we jump into all the different prod- products that we're going to talk about that are a little more on the inexpensive side, I think we do want to say that the better paint you can afford to buy for your project, you know, what the highest you can go in the budget for your paint is the where better. you probably yeah. want to go. Because better paint doesn't just look better and last longer and all of those things, which it does. But it also applies a lot easier, yeah. and that's a big deal. It is a big deal. It makes your life easier. It goes faster. The project is less stressful, and ultimately, you're more happy with the results. Right. Now, my mom, and I've talked about this on the show before, but it really makes the case. She did tons of painting and still does tons of painting, mm-hmm. and we would come home, and sometimes it'd be you know, in a week. Seriously, we'd come home and the breezeway would be a different color every single day. It's like paint mania. Are we at home? (laughs) What is going on? And mom was always painting and she always bought whatever she could find wherever, you know, the cheapest stuff she could find. And she made it work, you know, and she, it was never on the wall long enough to worry about durability or anything. Yeah. And anyway, about 10 years ago or so, you know, I'd been at Repcolite for a while and I still couldn't get her to drop the money to get a little better product. And finally they did for a project for my sister painting her cabinets. They used Repcolite's Hallmark at the time. And at the time that was our premium Mm -hmm. line of interior products. Now we have Optima, which would be a step up now. But mom used Hallmark and literally that day she called me five, six times in the office just, just to tell me that she couldn't believe how well it was going, how much faster it was applying. Right. No spatters, no drips and runs, not like she was used to. So all of that to say, better paint really does make a difference. It doesn't, you know, it's it's hard to wrap our brain around that. Right. Especially when you don't work in paint and you don't 
physically see the differences on a daily basis. It's right. very hard to hear that there's a large difference between a $35 gallon and an $80 gallon, but there is. Paint right. is different. Right. And so keep that in mind. Go with the best thing you can afford for your budget. But with that said, not everybody's budget is the same. You right. Know? And not every room or space needs the premium top well, of the line exactly. product. So there's a lot of leeway and play in that as well. So let's start with some of the products that you could consider as alternatives to some of these higher end things. And we're going to give you their pros and their cons, and you can decide from there. And Haley, let's start with a contractor grade product. Yeah, I think, you know, when we're and talking explain about... what we mean by contractor grade. I was on it. Oh, you were doing it. <laughs> I'm the director, <laughs> so... No, what we're talking about with contractor grade products are paint products that aren't going to be as washable as like an entry level product for a homeowner. Contractor grade are going in commercial spaces typically and they're touched up frequently by people that maintain those spaces. So painting rather than cleaning and they're just inexpensive. Right. Inexpensive. Yeah. Yes. I don't always hear very well. So. <laughs> Anyway, the the Benjamin Moore version that you would recommend. Ultra Spec 500 is the Benjamin Moore version of a contractor grade product. And I've used it myself uh, in a rental space. I had permission at the time. And I knew because it was a rental, this is not going to be here forever. I also don't have a giant budget to spend on a product that's not going to be on the walls forever. And so it did that job. However, like we talked about, using it is not quite as nice is when I would use things like a premium product, like, like what Optima. Like, did you notice was different? Just a couple of things quick. One, the hide. So, <clears throat> hold on. One, the hide. So, it's not going to be a great option if you're doing an extreme color difference. I was using a light yellow over a beige and really struggled. I had to do three coats. So, ultimately, potentially wasn't actually saving money because I'm doing an extra coat of paint because it's not hiding as well, being a contractor-grade okay. product. So that's one. Did you have another application difference that you noticed? Um, it brushes out not as well, right? You're going to get more of like the brush marks, the ropiness, um, the self-leveling built into those products I don't think is as good. Okay. So that's ultra spec. Still good, though, for a lot of situations. Yeah. Might and especially be. if you're a contractor and you're spraying these products, some of those application differences don't make quite as much difference to you. Right. Now, Repcolite has elements. That would be our version, you know, that fits in this category. And it's available in a flat, an eggshell, a satin sheen, a semi-gloss. So all the basic sheens. Uh, it, it's a very interesting line. Uh, the label is fun. It's built like a periodic table of yes, elements. Yes, I do Get like it? the label. Yeah, and we've got wall paints, which are clearly marked on the label. We've got trim paints in the line, which are clearly marked on the label with little element badges. You know, the walls are like element WA, and then it's got a <laughs> number, like an elemental number. Yes. And that's whatever number it is in the sequence of how you'd apply it. Like the primer is numbered as one. I see, yes. Or, you know, and all yeah. of that. So we've got a primer, a ceiling paint, the, all the wall paints, and then there's a high build trim paint. And that high build trim paint is, and a high build trim paint. I'm stroking out, okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm stroking out. <laughs> and a high build trim paint. Now, the wall paints and stuff, they're all going to offer good washability, good hiding, you know, easy, no spatter application. So they'll apply mm -hmm. nice. Not as nice as better stuff, but still pretty right. good. The uh, primer is a really great option for drywall. It's a really good way to save some money on your drywall is to go to the Elements Wall Primer. Definitely. Really recommend that. And the high build trim paint is really interesting because it's made to compete against some major competitor products like Solo and stuff like that. And it really does perform very well against those. So if you're looking for an inexpensive line to jump into, Elements is something to consider and talk with the people about in the store, you know, at any Repcolite or Port City Paints when you come in. So Elements, Ultra Spec, those would be the contractor professional grade type Right. Products. Yeah, exactly. Now let's go to the next step up. I would call it entry level products, right? Things that we would sell to first time homeowners that are on a budget, you know, repainting an entire house and trying to keep that budget in check. These products are typically easier to apply. Ben specifically by Benjamin Moore has been designed specifically to be the easiest to apply in their wall paint line because it was meant for people that are new to painting. So it's really forgiving. It has a little bit of a longer open time. So when you do brush and roll, 
you're getting a little bit better of self-leveling, which is important when you're new to painting. Right. So that's Ben and bathrooms. I mean, would you put it everywhere or are there limitations to where you'd recommend using Ben? Um, in any product, you know, you've got to think about sheen as you're trying to get into more extreme situations like bathrooms or kitchens. So with some products, we can go down to an eggshell in those situations or a mat even. And this product for a bathroom or a kitchen, I'd go up to the semi-gloss. Um, it's just kind of the sacrifice that you've got to make when you're going with less expensive products. Right. So you do want to have conversations in the stores before you just jump in and buy. You know, ask questions, understand exactly what's going on. Because in a lot of these conversations about price, you might be better off, like Haley mentioned in the beginning, how the cheaper product that you use didn't hide as well. Right. You end up using three coats. <clears throat> Your situation, you might save money going to a more expensive initial purchase because you're going to have to do it less. Yeah. The or, sticker shock is there, but in the long term, it actually it equals out. Right. Or it might perform better in certain situations. I'm thinking cabinets and stuff like that. You want to make sure it's a, it's a big project to jump into and to bite off. You don't want to go through all that work. You know, good paint will apply better and easier than cheap paint. But more importantly, it will perform right. way better. So you don't want to go through all that work and have something that doesn't perform as well. Exactly. So keep those things in mind. Along the lines of Ben in the Repco Light line, I would say Carefree is a great option. We've got all the different finishes. It's It's been a product that we've made for years and years and years and years. It's been a standard workhorse product. It was our main line until Hallmark came about years back, but it's still a great price point. It's a great all-purpose product. Use it in almost any situation, and it applies very well. Again, it's just a great product to get if you're looking for that lower price point. Exactly. Now, one last one we want to quick highlight is if you're looking for a premium paint, you really do want the best you can get. Repcolite's Optima is going to be that, but it's going to come in at a price point that's... Almost. It's like $20 less than other premium products. Exactly. They're going to perform the same. So yeah. it's actually a premium product that could really save you money. And I think we talked about or touched on it a little bit that you can save money by going with a premium product when you have situations that require higher hiding or you need the durability to be there longer. But on top of that, you're also saving $20 probably on a product that compares to something in exactly. that same range. So no, no matter where you are in your budget, we've got something that will fit and we're eager to talk about it. So if you've got something going on, you're curious about what product you should use and what's the best thing we're going to recommend. I ended. <laughs> whatever you're working on, whatever space you're painting, we've got products that will work, and we can fit products into almost any budget. So just swing out to any Rep Collider Port City Paints. Tell us what you're doing. We'll make a recommendation. Absolutely. All right. It's time for a break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about paint tools, and we're going to debate whether this tool is something that you should skimp on. Or splurge. Or really splurge yeah. on. And we're going to see once what you think, what I think. We'll find out if Haley's debate. right or wrong. Yes. And that's all just ahead. <laughs> Stay tuned. Does that work? Yeah. All right. 